This is Sarah, and this week I'm testing out the tech that's going inside of my flocking masks. So over the past two weeks, I have collected all of my friends' faces, and I have the base masks more or less surfaced and ready to receive all of the copper pads that are going to be mounted inside of them. Um, at the end of this week sometime, I plan on coaxing all of my friends to come over and actually wear their masks so that I can test whether or not my whole capacitance circuit trigger thing is going to work. Because if it isn't, then I have no business focusing on all the complex hoopla that goes on the outside of the mask. To test whether or not my circuit is going to work, I created some fancy test fixtures this week, and they're basically kind of indicator antennas that will mount temporarily on the side of the mask, and they have bright big ball LEDs on, on the side that will light up red or green based on whether or not the wearer is smiling or scowling. Um, I need to first and foremost get everybody over here to make sure that their masks still fit them because that's kind of important. I need to make sure that the masks can fasten to the face in some capacity. So I'm, I'm gonna need to create a strap or an adjustable buckle that will stretch around the back of the head and press the mask onto everyone's face meat. Next, I need to install the copper pads. So as of right now, each of the test fixtures has three pads hanging off of it. Um, there is a ground pad, which is going to rest on the bridge of the nose because that is the load bearing feature of the uh, face that will more or less be making contact with skin no matter what. And then there's two other pads. Uh, one of them is going to sit on the cluster of muscles in the cheek, and the other is going to rest on the brow. And hopefully one will key in on smiling, and the other one will key in on scowling or grimacing. Once the masks are on everyone's faces, all of the LEDs should be off, because technically, in a neutral state, uh, none of the skin should be just by default making contact with the pads. Um, the way that I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to create a little bit of a buffer between uh, the pad and the skin, like a rim that's raised up slightly. So by creating these recessed areas, I'm going to make it so that you actually do have to, you know, by smiling or puffing up your eyebrows, kind of force your flesh into these pockets to press against the pad. Otherwise, the pad would just sit on top of the skin no matter what, and the LED would always be on. So this is going to take a little bit of trial and error because, again, Everyone's face is different. Once I do kind of hone in on where they ought to be, um, I'm gonna have everybody smile and scowl, and smile and scowl, and I'm gonna see if everyone can get their respective LEDs to light up at the appropriate times. Once this is figured out, I can then take Sharpie and outline on the inside of the mask where the pads are actually going to mount for each individual person. So regardless of what happens during the expression date, um, after everything's said and done, I'll probably introduce each one of my friends and talk a little bit about what I'm planning to do so far with the outside of their masks, because I have to represent their personalities, right? And I've got some ideas, uh, but I also want to hear what their thoughts are as well. I'm going to have to come up with something really awesome to cook on Friday because I, uh, I'm going to need to bribe them successfully to come, I think. Especially if I announce ahead of time that I'm going to be filming this. So we'll see. But yeah, until then, as always, keep making awesome stuff out there and thank you for watching.